The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Estimated cost, $5 billion. Height, 145 meters, 476 feet. Length, 1,780 meters, 5,840 feet. Location, Bamisa, Ethiopia. The primary purpose of the dam is to produce electricity in order to fix Ethiopia's acute energy shortage and to export power to bordering countries. This amazing project will solidify the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam as the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa and among the top 20 globally, paving the way for sustained economic growth. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, aka Millennium Dam or Hydes Dam, is a gravity dam utilizing the strength of the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia. The dam itself has been under construction since 2011 and many would argue it's finished. At least kind of. In February of 2022, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam produced power for the first time, delivering electricity to the power grid at a rate of 375 megawatts. A second turbine of the same capacity was added to the station in August 2022. The dam is currently not at the maximum capacity due to a filling period. It's expected that it'll be full in about six to seven years, which should help provide much more electricity to the surrounding area when it does. We're not ready to call construction complete until the reservoir is filled and we can see how much power it produces. There's a range of maintenance that needs to be completed as the reservoir is filling up and construction teams will be on standby to service the area as it takes on the water volume of 74 cubic kilometers. Once full capacity is reached, it would take the facility from 375 megawatts in February measurement to 5.15 gigawatts. There is some uncertainty about the full impact the dam will have on downstream countries. Some fear it will reduce water availability, while others fear its effect on natural water sources. Experts agree that there are three important factors to consider when looking at the impact the reservoir filling phase has on scale and how it's done. The initial elevation of the Aswan High Dam, rainfall, and what kind of agreement is reached between the affected countries. The Egyptian president issued a warning to Ethiopia, saying, let's not reach the point where you touch a drop of Egypt's water. Joe Biden met with Abdel Fattah el-Sisi during his meeting in the Middle East and reaffirmed that America stands by Egypt's water security and wants to help find a diplomatic solution that will end the brewing conflict. Thanks for watching.